Some of you may remember seeing a post that I put out back in December about my good, good friends, the Babs, and they were in Hawaii for Christmas vacation and their 19-year-old son dove into a wave just one more time and that wave took him on a bad tumble and it broke his neck and he was instantly a quadriplegic. And um, I just wanted to give you an update because I so appreciate all of you who started praying for him. And I wish I could say today that he is completely healed. He's no longer a quadriplegic, but that's not the case. That's not how God has been answering our prayers. But believe me, God is hearing our prayers. And before I go further on the Babs, I just want to get you, give you a visual that I saw many years ago. Francis Chan did a sermon. He had a huge rope. And on this big rope, he had just a little bit of it painted red. And he said, this is our life here on earth. This is eternity, but we put so much focus on this little bit of red on the rope, and we don't live with an eternal perspective. So here's what's been happening with the Babs. After it happened, Steve, the dad, gathered up the family while, while Tommy was still um, on ventilator and couldn't really speak, and he said to him, we have a, we have a choice here. Do we want to kind of wallow in self-pity, or do we want to thrive? And the family kind of put their hand and says we're going to choose to thrive in this situation and that's what they've done they have leaned into God rather than pushed him away and because they're leaning into God and they're living this out differently people are noticing I had the absolute joy of managing their Facebook page for a long time and I would see lots of emails coming in and messages to the Babs family just unbelievable encouragement and unbelievable goodness but even more people coming to know the love and truth of Jesus because of watching this family. Their daughter, Claire, is amazing and she's just turning 22 and graduated from college and she started a blog and I've included that link at the bottom of this post and take a look at it. Thousands and thousands of people are reading what she's writing and changed. Eternities, that rope, the whole thing, that whole rope is being changed in people's lives. And I've heard like stories that I, I can barely share because they bring me to such tears about how their story has changed people. So I had dinner with them two nights ago and Claire wasn't there, but I saw um, Tommy and Krista and Steve and, and, and um, their, his brother Adam. And yeah, it's tough. It is, it's not easy. Um, Tommy can only feel really a little bit of his body just up in here and that was having excruciating pain. He would get waves of pain and we took turns massaging him. And when we sat down to eat dinner, you know, I fed him his meal because he can't do that. Although he is getting some movement in his arms, which is awesome. So yeah, it's hard. But because they know there's a bigger picture and God is using this, they're still thriving. Didn't God send his son to save people even though he had to endure some physical hardships while here and I just think because God is so alive in the Babs that they're able to thrive because they keep a perspective on heaven Tommy will be running in heaven and guys when you're going through challenges I've been through them you'll be through them can you keep the eternal perspective can you say God I know you're at work here and I trust you and I am thankful that you will use this for bigger purposes even when it's your own kids who are in pain trust God he's there and he is doing Romans 8 28 he is working all things together for his glory the Babs have been just an incredible inspiration. Take a moment, read the blogs that Claire's um, wrote about. It will change you. It will rock your world. It will get you to think about things differently. Thanks.